question is that the motion be agreed to, and I call the member for Riverina. I certainly agree with the motion, uh, Deputy Speaker, and commend the member for Gippsland for bringing it to the chamber. Indeed, the member for Hasluck talks about probity, and I would just ask the uh, member uh, what of those projects that uh, certainly were in my electorate uh, would Labor have struck out? And I'll just go through them because all politics is local. Federal funding for Main Street upgrades in Cootamundra, Cowra, Forbes, Grenfell, Gundagai and Parks all have made such a difference to those local communities. Perhaps Labor would want to see the $9 million to enhance water security in Blandshire taken out. Perhaps it might be the uh, $1 million to Coolamanshire uh, through the Drought Communities Program to upgrade uh, such things as the Redgrave Tennis Club or upgrades to the Mara uh, Jim Carna Reserve or improvements to the Ardleth and Ganmain showgrounds. Uh, maybe it might be the $149,000 for a site upgrade at the Cootamundra Heritage Centre. Uh, possibly $307,000 to upgrade the roofs at the Cultural Centre and the Bonsai House at the Cowra Japanese Gardens. I didn't interrupt you, don't you interrupt me. Uh, $1.5 million for the expansion of the Central West Livestock Exchange at Forbes, the second largest sheep, uh, sheep yards in the world, uh, according to the Deputy Mayor uh, just the other day when I was speaking to him, Chris Royal, Councillor Chris Roylands. Uh, $950,000 for the Grenfell Medical Centre in Weddenshire. We just need to find a doctor for Grenfell, but uh, certainly makes such a difference. $3.5 million for a new sewage treatment works in Gundagai. Would it be, would Labor take away the $2.5 million to upgrade the Cunningar grain storage and handling facility in the Hilltops LGA? Or perhaps the $1 million to Juni for the Drought Communities Program to upgrade community projects such as the Sandy Beach at Wanabadri, the Bathungra Dam, tourist reserves, or might it be the $200,000 for the Lockhart Community Hub and Conference Centre? Perhaps it might be the $1.5 million for the extension of the Parks Regional Airport Business Park, maybe the $5.3 million, $5 million to upgrade the Tamora Aerodrome runway and associated main apron and taxiways, which the RAF described prior to the funding as being quite dangerous. Uh, or maybe it would be the $4.4 million to build a multi-purpose stadium at the Equex Centre at Wagga Wagga. All were good and worthy and tremendous projects for my electorate, but that was replicated right throughout the nation. Indeed, in your electorate, uh, Deputy Speaker, in all of those great regional electorates. And the member for Indi belled the cat when she said that these programs were oversubscribed. Yes, they, they truly were. And in many of those projects, uh, programs, uh, I can remember as the minister in charge uh, of, of uh, making sure that distribution was fair and equitable, uh, many of them were oversubscribed uh, six times over. We could have had uh, so many more projects funded, but of course uh, independents never quite realised that the pie is only so big and you can only cut the pie uh, so, so much. Um, and you, you run out of money. And so they are and were based, um, or certainly were under the coalition government, on, on a system which was equitable, which uh, members got a say in it. And I do take umbrage at the fact that Labor members uh, come in here and say there was no probity, there was no transparency, because there was. But what we can't have, what we certainly should not ever subscribe to, is a condition by which the public servants, uh, as good as they are, get to determine where all the money is going to be spent. Because that should, at the end of the day, be the minister's prerogative. That should, at the end of the day, under the Westminster system, and if the minister is doing the wrong thing, if the minister is shown to be rorting and etc., then the minister will face the eye of uh, not only the, uh, the system uh, the Westminster system by which we operate under, but certainly at the ballot box next time round. And we are proud of our record, and I'm certainly proud of what we did as a government uh, for regional Australia, for regional programs. And I know the Local Roads and Community Infrastructure Fund, which distributed $54.8 million to the councils in my, uh, in my electorate, uh, was money well spent. And I know right across the nation that LRCI funding, that Drought Communities funding, that Building Better Regions fund, all of those, all of those programs were so well received by the councils. And the councils did very well to the point where the Blanchire Mayor, Brian Monaghan, at West Wylong said 
The only problem was finding the number of workers to build the projects, because he said his words it was record spending. He very much appreciated, and that was under a coalition government. The time allotted.